With the Apple Watch that was just announced, there were a ton of new features that were thrown at us all at once on all these different Apple Watches. This SE, the Series 8, the Ultra, so many new features that were announced that I wanna dive into and see which features were actually useful, which ones are actually gonna improve our lives. So let's get into it, let's talk tech. I'm Arnell with Ardently Tech. We believe that tech was made to make our lives easier, and we're here to help you understand and discover that tech that improves your life. So whether you're a tech lover or somebody that's ever been confused by tech, make sure to subscribe to watch more videos like this. Now in this video, we're gonna go over eight new features on the new Apple Watches that are coming out. Some features are specific to the Ultra, some features are specific to the uh, more general populace that will go with the SC or the Series 8. The first feature is a no-brainer, or at least I feel like it's a no-brainer. It's the crash detection on the SC, the Series 8, and the Ultra. All three of the new Apple Watches come with this new feature that just about Anybody that gets in a vehicle or in some sort of transportation that goes faster than just walking with your legs will find useful. Because if you get into an accident and you may not have the ability to reach out to people to let them know, to call for 911, the Apple Watch will detect that you've been in a crash and it will actually notify emergency services and notify specific people that you've already set up for your loved ones or just people that you want notified that you're in a crash. Uh, that way they're able to tell that you got somewhere safely they don't have to worry or find out you know later that there was some sort of big accident that you were involved in and uh, you know maybe that's why they haven't heard from you so um, you know there's there's lots of different uh, really good uses there the second biggest feature that I find the most useful with the new Apple watches which again is featured on all three the SC the series 8 and the ultra is the ovulation tracking this is great and phenomenal for families that want to take the natural route of planning out their families figuring out their windows of ovulation and helping to increase Increase their chances of actually expanding their families. Now, of course, this doesn't take the place of an actual doctor uh, and a trained medical professional in this field that might have access to more information than just what this watch has, but it definitely empowers families to give them much more information readily available at their fingertips, or in this case, at their wrist, and um, will actually give them a lot more information to help them, make, uh, help them feel that they're making the right decisions, the right timing for all of these sort of things. So really, really wonderful and useful in that respect too. The third most useful feature is the family setup feature. Now this feature allows you to set up multiple watches to one phone. So this is very good in specific scenarios of families. Uh, if you have younger kids or you know teenagers that don't have smartphones, uh, but you wanna give them a smart watch, you wanna give them that sort of experience, um, and also you know has a couple of different added features which I'll get into in a second, but you can actually give somebody a smart watch that does not have a smartphone and allow them to uh, to actually be able to use the Apple Watch without it being linked to a phone. So use cases where this is actually most useful is in situations where you wanna be able to keep track of your kids, you know, make sure that they got home from school safely or they're going to, you know, their friend's house. You wanna make sure that they're actually at their friend's house. Now this is also useful for people that are in Apple's HomeKit ecosystem. So if you have a door lock that is compatible with HomeKit, you can actually use the watch to unlock the door and to actually let somebody in. So this is good for, again, kids or adult parents, somebody that needs a spare key but also has this Apple Watch. They can actually, you know, with your permission, have access to the door lock to be able to unlock it and actually get into the house all through their watch without actually having a physical key. The fourth most useful feature is the medications app. Now there are medication apps that you can get on your phone and there's plenty, hundreds, if not thousands of apps available on the app store. But what makes this a little bit more convenient is that this is actually a medications app that you can use on your watch. And so with this, it's built in you know, by Apple as well. So it works a little bit cleaner with Apple's ecosystem, also works very well with the health app, but this lets you actually be able to keep track of all your medications keep track of the times you need to take them, and we'll actually give you an alert reminder every day to take your medication if you haven't done it already. Now, before I move on to the second half of this list, if you are finding value in this video, 
definitely consider subscribing and dropping a like on this video. It helps us to know that you found value in it. It helps us to know that you like this kind of content and helps to expand our audience so that more people can find our videos and find videos like this to help people maybe looking at getting an Apple Watch and wondering which features are actually beneficial to them. Now, these next set of features are actually beneficial for uh, mainly the Apple Watch Ultra. So the Ultra features a lot of brand new, very specific features for a very specific set of people. The Apple Watch Ultra is definitely for the fitness and adventurer uh, type of person. So uh, maybe not for the general populace, but definitely very helpful for people that love the outdoors and need lots of different, very specific things to help them out when they're outdoors. The fifth most useful feature is the always on paired with the brightest display in an Apple Watch history. So the always on feature is a feature that allows your watch display to always be on. You'll be able to see the time and uh, you know be able to see it in a dimmer format. And so that way you can casually glance and check the time uh, without actually having to do a whole full wrist motion to look at the watch. This is also paired with the brightest display in the watch. So because of that, it'll have the 2000 nits of uh, max brightness. And so this will be very beneficial for when you're out hiking in the Grand Canyon and obviously the sun is going to be beating down on you to be extremely bright bouncing off of the rocks and everything and you'll be able to actually see the watch instead of having to you know cover the watch and look at it in the shade and you know having to use the brightness in that way so very very good uses for that very bright specific scenario. The sixth most useful feature is the largest display or actually the largest case on an Apple Watch ever. So again, with the Ultra, the display case is actually a 49 millimeter watch case. So you're gonna have a much, much bigger screen real estate to be able to actually use the watch, see all the different details that you need to be able to see and interact with the watch on the biggest display in an Apple Watch ever. This is very useful for, again, when you're hiking or you're underwater and you need to be able to see the screen, it'll be much more efficient to see a much larger display, but something that's still very pocketable and movable that can be on your on your wrist. Uh, so that way you can actually see everything when you're out underwater and, and it's, it's dark and murky and lots of different things going on, uh, but you can actually still see the watch uh, with its large display. So that's extremely, extremely useful in that regard too. The next most useful feature is the 86 decibel emergency siren for your emergency situations. Again, this is just a no brainer. So if you're out lost or if you're separated from your pack and you need help, uh, you've tried yelling, nobody can hear you, you can actually activate an emergency siren, which will sound a very, very loud sound that can be heard pretty far away and can actually help people locate you when you're you know, lost hiking or, or lost at sea or something like that. So it's actually very beneficial that way too. The next most useful feature is the customizable action button. So this action button is an additional button on the side of the watch where you can actually set whatever feature that you want it to be. You can set it to start a dive. You can set it to start a workout, set it to start uh, to even make a, a waypoint on your compass. So that way you can find your way back to where you were when you originally set that waypoint especially with these uses that are uh, coming straight out of the box from Apple, there's gonna be a lot more uses down the road when all the other app developers make specific features for that action button. Now, who knows if Apple will actually allow anybody to make a feature that works with that button. We don't know yet, but I would imagine down the road, there will be new added features added to the features list for that button. So you can definitely count on the features that you see now that are already very useful also expanding down the road with just innovation either from Apple themselves or opening it up to all the different app developers. Now, if you liked this video, definitely check out this video from our channel. And again, consider subscribing to help us grow this channel and to reach more people that are interested in tech like this. Anyways, catch you in the next one. Peace.